What's up guys, welcome back to the video. Today we're going to be talking about why the Toronto Raptors are in full control of this series. But before we do that, smash the like button, subscribe if you're new. I post Raptor videos all the time here. I've been covering them since the offseason. In my hot take video this offseason, I had Scotty winning Rookie of the Year. Can the Toronto Raptors actually go to the NBA Finals? Can they somehow escape a 3-0 deficit from the Sixers and then defeat the Miami Heat and then defeat a team like the Boston Celtics and then go to the NBA Finals? and take on this just loaded Western Conference. I mean, if anyone can do it, it's this team. People have been counting them out all season, saying they wouldn't make the playoffs, saying that Scotty Barnes was a reach at four. Fred Van Vliet isn't that type of dude. Pascal Siakam just, bro, he's all right. Like, he's not a star. I remember talking to people early on in the season, and they were saying that Siakam isn't an all-star. He's, he's not a star. I was like, dude, like, you obviously haven't watched him play in your life because Pascal Siakam... You're right, he's not a star, he's a superstar, but the Raptors are a great matchup for the Sixers. But to this point, it's mental for them. It's mental for the Philadelphia 76ers. I mean, Joel Embiid said this about James Harden. So he only took 11 shots. I've been saying all season since he got here, he needs to be aggressive and he needs to be himself. That's not really my job. That's probably a coach to talk to him and tell him to take more shots. I mean, that's just... How do you respond to that, guys? Joel Embiid says it's not his job, but then he's saying it to the media. Game, uh, Joel Embiid, you were awful defensively tonight. James Harden was lackadaisical. Matisse Thibel was just running around. Tyrese Maxey couldn't hit a shot, uh, and neither could Tobias Harris. The Raptors, they're in the head of the Philadelphia 76ers right now. Pascal Siakam... They just gave him the ball and got out of his way. I mean, he had 23 points, 10 rebounds, and 7 assists. A lot of people don't understand that Pascal Siakam is basically a center and a point guard. He'll guard centers, and then he'll run the offense. Like, there's just no one in the NBA like Siakam. I've been saying this all season, bro. Pascal Siakam is an NBA superstar, and he can absolutely be a number one option on a championship team. I mean, that just sounds crazy to say, but the Raptors, they can beat anyone in the East right now. They can go to the finals. They got off to a bad start, but hey, if Joel Embiid didn't hit a shot that he had no business making, the Raptors would be winning the series right now. I mean, what, like, what do you mean? It, a lucky shot by Embiid. It looked like he actually, they got a timeout off, but it, about to be a 24-second violation, and then Doc Rivers could get the timeout in the, literally the last second, and then Embiid turns and hits a three. You remember, the Raptors haven't been healthy. Scotty Barnes isn't was playing tonight, but he's nowhere close to being healthy. I mean, he's out there, sure, but this isn't the Scotty Barnes that we saw down the stretch of the season that looked unstoppable. I um, mean, then you're missing Fred Van Bleet to not play in this game. You go into Philly and you shoot 26% from three. I mean, the Raptors have so much improvement to do. Obviously, they were not a good three-point shooting team in the regular season. Obviously, they don't have the most depth. I mean, yeah, sure, Chu has been great for them in the second half. Boucher has been, I'd say he's been pretty steady all season, and then Thaddeus Strong was a good pickup. But outside of that, there really isn't much. Like, Delano Banton was a second-round pick for them. Good defender, but he can't do anything offensively. Malachi Flynn, again, not a good defender. I mean, he is at times when he wants to be, just like a lot of NBA players. Uh, offensively, he's just kind of, like, hit or miss. I, Malachi Flynn could be a great player. Um, and then, like, <laughs> he's like Bonga, Armani Brooks, like, Wananabe, C. Mackay Luke. There really isn't much on the back end of this Raptors team. So it's going to come down to the starters. 44 minutes for Siakam, 41 from Scotty, 39 from OG, 39 from Trent, and 11 from Birch. Uh, Achua played 27 minutes and just dominated this game. He's, Achua has been so good for them. Of course, was a rising star. They got him from the Heat and the Kyle Lowry uh, deal. The Raptors, they have a very, just I don't even know how to describe it. It's just like a very weird team. Because they can defend the lights of the basketball. And some nights they are hot from the field. Sometimes they're cold. But no matter what, the Raptors are really never out of a game. The Raptors have come back many times this season. And the question for them is just, like I said, it's the three-point shooting and can they execute down the stretch? And so far, we've seen a little bit of both. I mean, the Raptors tonight did not play anywhere near their... their their highest level of basketball. I mean, the Sixers just were garbage in this game. But, hey, you got to give credit where it's due. I mean, Scotty Barnes, OG, and Trent were all active defensively. Uh, Precious showed up. Pascal Siakam just took over this game from the start. And they got a win. And now they go back to Toronto, to the north, 
for a game six. And there's this old saying, game seven, anything can happen. So if the Raptors can win at home in game six, all they need to do is get back to to Philadelphia because they just picked up a win there, a blowout win. All the pressure is on the Sixers. There is not a single ounce of pressure on the Raptors. No one really was picking them to win this series. Did I, I picked them, Will up and picked them, sure. But that's because we've been covering the Raptors all season and we love them and the fans and the fans support them. I'm not saying like, oh, I picked the Raptors because their fans watch my videos. No, I picked the Raptors because they won the season series three to four and they don't have James Harden. And I, I certainly trust Fred Van Vliet in a big game over James Harden. Fred has not played the best, but... Uh, in a one-game series, essentially, Fred Van Fleet is is a guy that I want the ball in the hands of. I, I don't want the ball in James Harden's hands in, in an important situation. As much as I like James Harden, I'm just being honest with you. Uh, James Harden, I don't think he's ever had a big playoff moment. Uh, and I guess this young, scrappy Raptors team that has guys that can make it hard for him. I mean, Harden tonight was 4 of 11 from the field. I mean, once again, he took 11 shots. If the Raptors can somehow bring in a center next season... The sky's the limit for this team. But the thing about it is they can't just go out and free agency and, and bring in someone. They're going to have to make a trade or they're going to have to draft a center. Probably draft because I, I wouldn't trade OG on an OB for Miles Turner or for Clint Capella. I, I'd rather have OG straight up than I would those players. Miles Turner, would he be a better fit for the Raptors? Absolutely, but he's not a better player. Uh, I think well, OG is still growing is the thing. Miles Turner is young in his own right, but OG, like, OG could legit – be an NBA All-Star. so And you're not just trading OG for Turner. You're going to have to give up more than that as well. So I would just roll the dice, bro. Pascal, Scotty, and OG is an unbelievable 1-2-3. I mean, that's not to mention Fred Van Lee and Gary Trent in the, the backcourt. I mean, these guys can shoot the lights out of the basketball. They're physical. They they defend. Fred, Fred and, and Gary defend, bro. They're not just offensive players. And then you've got defense on the bench, to be real with you, and Achua, Thaddeus Young's a pretty good defender. Uh, obviously, he's in his uh, early 30s, but uh, Thad just does a little bit of everything. He played 16 minutes. Like, he played a big 16 minutes tonight, man. Like We, we can't just discredit that 16 minutes. Like He gives the starters that rest because the starters can't play 48 minutes. Someone's going to have to play. And yeah, outside of that, bro, this is my third time making a video. I am freaking exhausted. So if you guys could drop a like on the video and subscribe, I really would appreciate it, bro. I'm trying to do this after I graduate from college. Uh, in December, so uh, we'll be doing YouTube full time. I freaking love the Raptors. I, I love the Pelicans. I love a bunch of teams, but yeah, it all started with the Raptors. This is a team that I really took an interest in this summer. And when they drafted Scotty Barnes over Jalen Suggs, I, mean, I knew that would be a amazing decision. Did not expect Scotty to become this, but hey, Masai and Bobby Webster know what they're doing, and the Raptors will win the series in seven games, and it will be the craziest. One of the craziest series uh, in NBA history. It's your boy, Swaggy. Peace.